how are you welcome back to my youtube channel my name is priscilla i make youtube videos about career travel lifestyle and life in your 30s basically and i do story time and a few other things so yeah youtube is such a beautiful space that i enjoy so much <laughs> it also shocks me and yeah so thank you so much for sparing your time and your data and spending it with me i do appreciate if you've not yet subscribed abangi abafi Please subscribe. Subscription is for free, you know. So support your girl if you enjoy my content. Yeah, and if you're new here, please check out a few other videos before you decide if you want to stay and yeah, be part of uh, the dreamers. The chi I'm the dreamer in chief. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the crew of the people who dream with their eyes open and things like that. In in this space, on this in these YouTube streets, we dream big and yeah. Anyway. So today I've come with another story time, guys. I enjoy story times because I have so many of them, and also I live alone, so I've no much to tell all my stories every day, every hour. So um, you guys will suffer with me. Anyway, I have my wine with me. Mm. Guys, a mellow never disappoints. It's amazing. So I've oof, it's so nice. Mm. Amazing. Anyway, so guys, today I've come to talk about. Uh, so in the, my past few videos, I've talking, been talking about money, and I realized you guys are very curious about money. There's a huge interest about that. So I thought I'll just share my own experiences with that. So today's video, as you've seen from the title, is how I acquired my first uh, property at the age of 27. And uh, yeah, to just set the record straight, my parents didn't fight in the bush war. <laughs> Or anything, they don't drive in Penconi, you know that we are, and yeah. So, just to set it clear, don't, uh, yeah. So, there's those are the assumptions that we, some people may have. So, just to clear the air, no, I'm a very ordinary uh, young Ugandan woman just working her way up, and you know, yeah, that's it, brick by brick. No trust funds, no godfathers, you know, except Jesus Christ. So, yeah. Anyway, so this, so I wanted to just share how I acquired my first property. And in this case, I'm talking about land. I have been watching a few UK YouTubers. Um, there's Lydia Dinga and a few others, Jenny Jenkins, and they're talking about how they've acquired their first house, their first houses. And I was so encouraged. I was so challenged. I was, you know, I was like, yes, Lord, it's possible. It's very, very, very possible. And I remember at my church, I performed worship harvest. Um, we got a word, a prophetic word that talked about saying that we are economic powerhouses and stuff like that. And there was just an anointing that was released to build wealth and stuff like that. And I, I, I mean, I have stepped into it and I'm seeing the fruits of it and I'm walking in it. So yeah, and I'm super grateful. So I just thought I'd come and testify on YouTube and just to encourage someone out there who's young, working, and is wondering, will they ever own something in their own names? Is it possible in this Uganda that we live in, given how things look like, and you know, like the salaries and stuff like that? But I just want to say that it's possible. Sorry, I'm playing with my hair because, guys, I just like it so much. It just looks so cute. I feel like I'm looking cute. <laughs> okay, go to the story, Priscilla. Stop rambling. Anyway, uh, so in 2017, at that time, I was working two jobs, uh, and by two jobs by choice, actually, simply because when I got my first job, I was at the same time that I got my first job, but the opportunity had also come through uh, to teach at a university, and I was and I'd always wanted to teach. I have a love a love for academia. Uh, every now and then I consider it, I'm like, uh, maybe, maybe not. So for now, I'm not teaching at any university, but one day I will probably resume. So yeah, so I got an, an offer to teach at, at a university at the same time as, as doing my other day job. I, guys, it was not easy running around, preparing modules and things like that. At the same time, making sure you satisfy both employees, employers. It wasn't easy, but it was worth it. So in 2017, I had been doing this job for now two years and uh, yeah, you know, like after you get two jobs, you're like, ah, okay, now I can now live comfortably, a certain level of comfort, right? And in 2017, I have had a, have an amazing friend. Shout out to you, Kathy. She watches these videos. I love you so much. You have really been a destiny helper and you have really called out greatness in many areas of my life. So thank you so much, babe. I just want to affirm her publicly before all your eyes. So anyway, yeah, so in 2017, it's very, I think it's very, that it's early to talk about the importance of friends and the importance of having friends you can talk 
money and deep stuff with you know so i've been i've been really lucky that god bless has blessed me with an amazing circle of friends it's not it's not perfect guys i've had my own share of drama but i would not trade it for anything because it the friends that i have have really led me into some space that i would never have probably been to individually so in that in 2017 that my friend uh, had thoughts had met a lady who was into real estate she was selling land and this lady is the most the very she's so sweet so understanding she has a passion for young women owning land in uganda and so when when we when kathy approached told me about it guys at that time i didn't have the amount of money they were asking for i think the land was uh, 17 million so i didn't have i didn't have that money you know as like that's a lot <laughs> That's a lot of money. Where am I going to get it from? You know, and but that deal was really good. This was land in Kira at that time, not Kira, Kira Central, but you know, a bit far away. But you know, like it was land with potential. And I think that's one one thing that if you're interested in buying, in starting investing in property, do not shy away from places that are not hyper, that are not hyped. Right? You know, right now everyone may be going to Gayaza or stuff like that. But if even like this place like Mukono, don't shy away from investing it does not mean that when you buy that land you can't resell it you know you can always resell it if you're if you don't want to to build on it or do anything so yeah so we, i went with her to see the land and you know she was talking she was saying oh she has saved that she's been saving up for some time so she wants to buy this the piece and it just looks so nice but you know so i talked to my i told myself gee god Hmm? How? When? 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 I'm a 27 year old woman, girl. You know, sometimes there's that car pressure of, oh my God, what do you, what you've been working all these years? What do you have to show for it? And guys, eh, don't buy into that pressure. Your time will come. You will buy. You will do the things you need to do when you do them. You know, sometimes you can be thinking, ah, oh, Jesus. Excuse me. You may be saying you're back, like you know, you are. How do I say? Sometimes you the pressure to feel like life you left behind. You know can come in but don't buy into that pressure because you know the truth is one opportunity can come in your life and change your life for the like 10 years like you you can one year you may do things that others have taken them five years to do so don't don't fall victim to this whole pressure of by this age you should do this this by this age you should have done and you know i'm a big fan of such conversations but at the same time I, i'm also aware that they can also put unnecessary pressure on you so don't don't get into that you know so yeah so i had sort of i had that kind of pressure at the 27 because you know i started with uh my most of my friends are really high achievers and some of them are much older than me so i was like Bananges, Bananges, the captains and now watch you look good you know i feel like oh jesus jesus lord you know so yeah so she, we went to see the lady and i talked to her and I told her that, look, I'm very interested in buying land too, but I don't have that money right now. But can you give me time to think about it and see what I can do and get back to you? And then, you know, you know when it's your time, God will make, make a way for you. This lady was like, oh my God, you, you, you know, it's very nice to see young girls at, our, at your age when we your age. We were not thinking about having property and stuff like that. But you, young, you are a very young woman thinking about being able to start your own, uh, you know, property having your own thing in your own names and she was like you know what think about it and you can always come we can have come up with a payment plan do you have a job i told her my job and what i do and blah 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 blah, blah. so she said okay no problem oh, and, and the good thing is she knew my boss so i was like oh phew. so that also sort of gave me some credibility you know before her and then also because my friend was also trustworthy the one who took me so she was like okay fine so then I was like, eh, what can I do that? And she said she had two pieces of land that were near each other. And she wanted she would have loved, she wanted to sell them all together. You know, she didn't want to break them into two. Hmm. But I didn't have that money. That would have meant 17 million for one and that's 17 million for another. And I didn't have that money. <laughs> that would have come down to how much? My money math, you can do that calculation. And at this time, as, you know, like if someone says they want uh, like 20 million Zijawa, but you know sometimes it's asking yourself the right question and having conversations with your friends at the right time. So I have another friend of mine who I went to and talked to. I know she's extremely good with money. She's a great saver and she, you know, she's into those conversations. So I went one day we were having drinks and I mentioned it to her like, you know what? 
there's this piece of land that in this and this place it's beautiful i have seen it it has great potential and blah 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 and also you know and told we're not growing any younger we are not uh, you know so i was thinking if we could join hands together and we buy this this property and in the future we can decide what to do with it maybe you buy me out i buy you out we'll sell it off and we get our money like whatever but for now if you can just secure it and uh, the good thing is we're both lawyers so we can we know how that process works and uh, she was like um okay i'm not so sure and i told her look if we get so i done the math and in the ma the math so like if we get four of us or three of us to buy this land we can afford it without killing ourselves in the long we get a good payment plan which comes with the same amount of money and in the future we can decide what to do with it and honestly guys that is wisdom i think in uganda we people are so scared of partnerships of working together but like if you look at these other countries nigeria kenya like they really thrive on partnerships like women are working together i was seeing a certain instagram of a woman who I think like 100, 10, 100 women now who own key like prime prime land in in Lagos and the, the only way they did it was by coming together and buying off those acres so and you know and I'm like it's doable but why do we fear as women why do we about it's the stereotypes we have built, built bought into that women can't work together that women are you know but it's possible you know if you have clear terms and conditions look at look at the chamas in kenya do you know that women in kenya like are in these huge huge circles that are building apart i saw in the story sometime i saw i think if i can get if i can get a screenshot i'll put it in this video where women had built an apartment block and these are women who are known to be lawyers and what these are farmers in some village but they had put together their money chamas and they had built apartments can you imagine and as corporates you're there working a corporate job but you can't even join hands with your corporate other friends to buy something tangible i don't know anyway let me so yeah so finally we managed i managed to convince my friend and then we bought the land together so we agreed that we shall pay make payments and yeah so we go back to her and tell her this is what we this is it and uh, yeah so she accepted now guys remember we are buying to my friend said she can only afford to buy one to contribute to buy one so me i already given my one to the and to the lady selling us the land but we shall take both of them guys <laughs> hmm? i had to go i had to sweat because i had thought that maybe if i talk to my other friend she will join but my other friend you know she was, she was overcommitted somewhere else so she couldn't commit again to this other project so i was like okay priscilla you're going to have now to cut back and just live through and you guys if you know me i hate living on a tight budget like i hate counting my money coin per coin i hate it i like being able to have some kind of disposable income but honestly sometimes life doesn't allow you to have that so I will make the payment plan so what so what we did is we agreed that so my friend made the deposit on the land we jointly were buying and then i made the deposit on the other land that i was buying individually that means that it still left me with a huge chunk almost the same amount because I, so it's like as if i was buying a plot alone you know Paying off this land and guys in the middle of the pain so in the middle of the paying off the land i lost one of my jobs my the project that I was working with if you work in uh, in, in human rights fields you, you understand we work on projects and funding the project I was working on ended abruptly mm -hmm. hey you should have seen me confusion upon confusion you have a debt you're paying off a debt eh? and because I had budgeted that one salary goes to pay off that debt and then I live on one salary to pay my rent, transport, food, etc. So I had nganchibazing at chigenda kule Now This is now 2017. We are now in the middle. 2017. So I bought that I think 2016. Now in 2017, I'm still paying off the land. Now the, the lady had been so patient with me, so patient. But guys, there's one thing they call about building relationships and being truthful and being honest. When that happened. I felt like I just run away <laughs> and hide because like how do you go and tell someone who has been extremely patient with you, given you extremely good payment terms that she would never have with anyone else? Because she says usually it's you pay cash, uh, you pay a deposit, and in the next three months you pay the you pay the full amount. But she had given us over how many months? 
because we were young girls, you know, and she was just saying, look, I love supporting young women to live their best lives. And honestly, I felt embarrassed to go to her, but I just had to. So I called her, I told her, no, let's have dinner. So I, told, I took her out for dinner. I sat down. I had all my letters of appreciation that, that, that you know, they never did, that they are giving you, they are telling you your project has ended, they give you like a letter, appreciation, the benefits they are giving you, like they are literally letting you go. But then they don't fire you, but there's no money to pay you, so you're going. Okay, so I sat down. I was very, very transparent with her. I told her, I said, look, this, has what, this is what happened to me. I had done this calculation, and she was a chigenda kuatayo, but honestly, this is, I cannot be able to meet my monthly payments as I had been meeting them before. And honestly, guys, I never defaulted. And that's why I keep saying that. Be truthful, be honest, and honor your word. You know, because if I had been missing, I don't think she would have been kind to extend those payments. So, Bambi, I tell her, I'm an angry. Being, being so sick, I cannot, I don't see to again. I don't Like, eh? Future and you never sit like the future was so foggy, guys. It was yes, I still had a job and yes, I was still comfortable. I could afford my rent, but remember this debt. You know, you know what debt is, guys. Debt chokes you like the way back up. Because even like whenever you're out eating, like maybe you, your friends have said we go for a glass of wine. But yet again, you know that that ka 5k or 6k that you're going to take a glass of wine, even if it will not really make a huge difference. In the grand scheme of things, you know, because you also need to still eat. But there's just that, just that kind of guilt, you know. I was not at peace. I was not at peace. So I told the lady, and guys, eh, this God we serve is an amazing father. I, I first, I, I told God, you know the situation, guy, God, I didn't do anything, it's not my doing. The lady comes, we talk, we talk, and then I tell her, I said, Bananga, this has happened. And then she's like, hmm. It's okay. You know, I also used to work in these organizations and they let me go at some point. That's why I said my business. Yeah? She opened up. She like she told me like her own daughter, guys. Do you know what that means? Do you know what get her? Like she opened up and told me about her own story. And she's like, you know what? I understand you have been a faithful woman, a girl. I, I can see Bambi, you have good intentions. And very few girls at your age would want to do this. So I was seeing us in her never said ja. You know, many of them would be waiting for men and what but Bambi Bambi, you said courage code. Then this young body did that. She took me like she really encouraged me, she comforted me, and she went paid for that dinner. She said, it's fine to fire you, you know, you pay what you can pay. Can you imagine? Pay what you can pay. Yeah? You get it. You don't know what it means to have a debt. And your debt, the person who you owe says, pay what you can pay. I said, this is good. This can only be good, guys. There's no work of man. This woman does not know me. She know my parents. Tamani, ya ne babukulu, like tamani. Hmm, you guys, I go home. I get my bank statements. Okay, every month, I pay this amount. And I said, okay. So if I pay this amount of money per month, how much can I pay? everything. What lives, what is left, I can only afford like 500k per month. I was embarrassed to tell her I can only pay you 500k. And I told her, um, Kakati, like, you know what, I, 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 this is the amount of money I can afford. Per, but why, do, why don't we freeze? Why don't we just, because they don't like paying some 500k per month. Ngabakuwa just an asking a huge amount of money. It's so embarrassing in a way. But you guys, sometimes, oh, you know, so you must. Sometimes you have to put shame on the side and face your, your thing. I just thought, you know what? I will be paying every other month one million. Is that okay? And she said, it is fine. Hmm. I knelt down and said, God, thank you. Guys, I had that debt in 2017. I finished that debt. Do you know when I finished that debt? In 2018, when I got another job. Because I was almost, the whole 2017, Almost, I had no new, I was relying on my own job. My, my, my job was okay, but you know, it was okay based on the circumstances, but not to repay off that huge amount of debt, you know. In 2018, guys, I finished paying off my land. Hmm? Look at you looking at me. Just cl eh, eh? clap. Clap for me. Do you know what that means? At my young age, at that time, I was 28. <laughs> 
Hey, I finished. You guys, do you know the freedom that comes when you don't? By me, I fear death. I honestly, you, I fear death. Like by the time I get into death, it's for some constructive re reasons. Like me, I'm not a school believer. I, I go into it to buy a bag because I want an, an LV bag. And I borrow a loan. No, because honestly, to wear a car. And like you will not sleep because you will think of how are you going to finance this debt and blah 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 blah. So yes, and honestly, it was a work of God. God really came through, and up to today, 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 we are still excellent friends with that woman. She has sold me that piece of land. We are like she looks. She's like my mother. I, you know, she keeps saying when are you getting married? You know, like those things. Like she became my friend because honestly, it God just moved me moved her heart towards me and she was like she was my destiny helper and that's how i applied my first piece of land guys plus you know my friend of course was able to finish off her payment easily and yeah and we've not had troubles with my friend we are still excellent friends things are working out well so more of the story is do not get scared to work to to partner with people if you want to own property if you're a young woman and you've seen something you want to do and you know another friend who has the means and you can both get your money together your kamane plus her kamane becomes a lot of money you see yeah? and then you buy something and then later you can decide what to do with it so don't be don't shy away but honestly also just be loyal be loyal when, when you when you when you go to buy these things and you when you get landlords and just be honest with them people really there's some good people still out there so that is my story time and yeah so please cheers i'm a full landlord uh -huh. and by the way guys don't this video was not made in any with any form of uh, making it up or feel bad or anything it's just to encourage you to encourage you look it's possible it's in the uganda in the uganda that we live in is possible it's not easy but it's possible there's ways i think there is ways of doing it and it's possible so don't lose hope don't say ah femunanga taba talwa na ntala watake na munsiko taba takola bata those who don't have these kinds of names don't 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 fall into that trap of of disqualifying yourself from blessing that god can actually give to you it's very possible for you to become a property owner in uganda it's very possible for you to own land and you're gonna we all know that land is we have gaga, land is, is is what we still have we've got to win so don't give up don't give up it's very possible but also explore explore joining hands with other people your age in your group or you trust don't just go joining hands with people you meet on strangers on instagram or on youtube don't don't know join hands with people that you trust people you know have a track record you know and the, that you know should should they have something to lose not just money you know like they have a friendship they have a reputation to keep so they even if they they will not do you bad because there's a lot at stake so you know so anyway yeah maro thank you so much for watching my story time being able to be so don't give up don't give up guys keep 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 going at it keep going at it save that come on in hmm? it's gonna make still gonna be something big one thank you guys for watching thank you so much for subscribing let me know it down below if you've watched your story time and if you bought land before in uganda what was your experience how did you start did you have a chunk of money sitting on your account watch color we also want to be encouraged so let us know and please send this video to someone who you know is thinking about it is being discouraged share with them it's possible. Cheers, guys. Bye.